Okay, so let's start this off with a very simple question. And this question, what will the future value of an investment of, of investments of 1,000 Rand every month be worth after 20 years, earning interest at 8% per annum compounded monthly? Okay, so um, this is just best to always draw a timeline. Okay, and on this timeline, it just helps because it helps us to recognize when it is recurring payments. They say we have investments of a thousand every month. So every month we are investing a thousand. They didn't tell us when our first investment was. So if this is time zero, we assume the first investment is in one month's time. It's not immediately. If they say it is immediately, we would have put it down. Okay, so we're just assuming it's only starting in one month's time. Okay, all the way up for 20 years. So the first thing you should recognize is that we are working with months and with years. So this should be 20 years. But because we're working in months, we're going to rather switch to working in everything in months. So it's recurring investments. And because it's monthly investment, we must work with months. That's 20 times 12 is 240 months. So let's switch over to rather talking about 240 investments. Okay. Now, how about the interest? Well, if we look at every in time period is a month, but we are given in the, the, the nominal interest rate per annum. Now all we do with that is to divide it with 12 to get the monthly interest. So we have 8% divided by 12. Okay, so let's start by writing down our formula or well continue by writing down our formula. Okay, we have the future value of n investments is equal to the investment amount multiplied by this bracket and it would be best to just go and study this formula off by heart just so that it becomes part of your uh, thinking and now we can go do our stock taking do we have the future value not yet do we have the number of investments yes 240 investments just one note is that if we started at zero if there was another investment here we would have had 241 investments so but we don't have this investment we're only starting in one month's time okay um, then what do we need we need X the investment amount is a thousand rand and remember this is the recurring amount the amount invested every month then I is the effective interest rate which remember is in this case the monthly which is 8 divided by 12 but because I need to divide with another hundred I can also divide by 1200 just to get it out of percentage okay so if you don't understand that just continue the old way that you know and then finally no that's all that's all of the values that we need so let's go substitute we substitute x with a thousand one plus in the place of i eight over twelve hundred to the power of two forty minus one and everything gets divided by eight over twelve hundred okay so we're going to just do it the rest of this with our calculator let's see what do we get okay we have a thousand multiplied by and in the brackets in the top I have another bracket 1 plus 8 over 1200 close that bracket and that bracket gets multiplied 240 times minus 1 and I close the top bracket and that is all divided by everything in the bottom because there's a fraction in the bottom I'm just going to put it in brackets so 
divided by, and in brackets, 8 over 1200. Close my brackets. And what is my final answer? There we go. 589,000. 589,000. Uh, zero to zero and twenty and forty two cents and twenty and forty two cents okay that sounds lucrative only a thousand rand invested in a month by the time you finish school you almost have half a million rand okay that is the future value of an annuity of a thousand rand per month earning eight percent interest per annum for 240 investments. Uh, don't think that's too bad. Let's look at a few more examples.